Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday, July 5th, 2012. Um, let me give you the results uh, to start with here. Hang on. Where in the... Here it is. That's the crude. We got 20 ticks profit in, in the crude. Um, we have a crude trade right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, an opportunity to short on a down close right here. Um, we didn't take any YM trades this morning. We took two ES trades. We're minus five ticks on the ES. We took a bunch of NQ trades. I ended up uh, break even on the NQ. But I was down at the close of the morning session. I was down one trade, but I got it back right over here a few minutes ago. Um, all right. Let's start... Well, let's start with the crude. All right, the crude, if we get a down close on this bar right here, with this divergence, this bearish divergence, you would look to go short if you got a down close. You see, the way the setup works is you look for the bearish cross of the MA1 down below the BBC, then price to come back up and test the BBC, and then give you a down close in the direction of the, um, of the cycle portion of the slingshot down here. You want to see this bearish divergence. Now, if we get an up close on this bar, then the trade's not going to happen. All right. If we get a down close on this bar, right there would be a spot to short. All right. 87.27 right in there. Now, let's go, let's go through the day. All right. The morning, anyway. Um, we had taken, here we go. This was the way it opened up this morning. All right, this was the first trade that had bullish divergence. You had the bullish cross, tested the BBC, the up close, and it went up. Um, another one right over here where it went up. On this one, I'm going to take that off because it tested the BBC and then it gave an up close, but the cycle was really headed against you on that one, so there was nothing there. So you had a win there, a win there. We actually took this one and we won that one. We took this one, and we won that one as well. Um, you can see down here we had this bearish divergence here, and the same type of divergence was over here. Um, what we were anticipating was the green working its way down into the cycle, the green again working its way down into the cycle portion of the slingshot. All right. Um, there was another one right in here that we missed, another one that we took here that we lost. We had a break even here. Another one here that we missed. Um... Over here, we were waiting for this to come together. The actual spot where it came together over here, we didn't have the divergence anymore. Okay. Um, right in here, this was right at the crude came out today. Um, among other things, among other news events, crude oil inventories came out today. So we didn't put on any trades in this little bit right here. All right, we just let it work itself out. But there was another opportunity right there. And over here, it wasn't the optimal thing because the cycle is in the middle. All right. Even though there was divergence, it was in the middle. I prefer to have the cycle be oversold or at least headed down. Um, but right here was another trade we took at the end of the morning session. Okay, right in here, that one, and we actually put that one on too. Um, <clears throat> right here was another one. This was during the break, and this was while Dwayne was speaking. We had bullish divergence. It didn't actually test the BBC there. But this is the one right here that that just happened while we were uh, while I was doing this recap. All right, I said right here at 87.27 was a spot to short, and it dropped down to 87.13. Um, that's $140 a contract right there in the time it took me to do this recap. All right, that is the crude. Now let me slide the crude over, and I'll go through the NQ because we did take some trades on the NQ. Um, let's see. Uh, hang on. We were actually in a trade right there on the NQ. All right. Um, let's go here. All right. This is where the NQ started. Now you're looking for the same thing, the bullish cross, the pull back down, test of the BBC, and an up close with the divergence. All right. We had it right there. That worked out fine. Uh, I took this trade this morning. I ended up taking a break even on it. I missed this one. But I did take this one and ended up getting a break even. I didn't take this one or this one. I missed a lot of trades, as you can see. Um, right here we had the bearish divergence price pulled back up, tested the BBC, gave a down close. It did it again right over here. 
Um, over here, I did take this trade. We got an up close right there for some uh, <clears throat> for some profit. I ended up taking a break even on that trade, apparently. Um, and right here, came back down, tested the BBC with bullish divergence and an up close. Again, right here with the up close. Uh, over here was a short trade. I took that one and stopped out on it. All right, and then just recently here, I took this one, and I took some profit and got back to break even. Actually, and I had left an order on there. I am now, I am now up eight ticks because I, the way that I got out of it, I forgot I had a, I had a stop on there. And when it dropped down, it made me short. All right, so not very often a mistake actually uh, works out in my favor, but that time it did. Um, <clears throat> all right, that was the NQ this morning. Now let me go through the ES. On the ES, let's see. Now I'm going to show it to you. Well, this was the first trade that I took. Okay, I was looking to short the BBC, the first pullback to the BBC. I did, and I was expecting it would get down here. It had some trouble here at the MA1, so I took the trade off. I just took profit on it. But let's look at a couple things here. When it pulled back up here, the cycle was red and headed down, and the bias line was also red. Okay. The next trade, after the BBC went through the weekly trading zone, the next trade was this pullback up right here. Now on this pullback, the bias line was green, and the cycle was blue and headed up. I took the short, it gave me a couple ticks profit, but then it stopped me out. Okay, so at this point I was minus five ticks, and that's where I ended the morning. It just kept drifting up all the way up here this morning. All right, um, you can see it's got one, two, three, four, five bars right here at 65.75 that it's uh that's the high of the day and it's selling off of there right now um it pulled back down this was at the end of the morning session you know i said i wasn't going to take this trade right here but you can see the uh the cycle portion of the slingshot is overbought and it had been for some time and the bias was red um, i didn't go long there okay that was the es this morning um let's see I'm not sure what you know. I want to check and see what we have for volume on the uh, on the morning. I'm just going to flip this to a fifty thousand contract. Yeah, right there. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, so we have about eight hundred and fifty thousand in volume. Um, about 850,000 in volume today, so it's a pretty low volume day. Tomorrow will probably be a lot like it, too. Um, now let's look at this, the YM. I didn't take any trades on the YM, but I'll just show you where, where they were setting up. Okay. It's the same thing as the other four tick range charts. Okay. Um, you get your bullish cross right here. You get your bullish cross. You pull back, test to the BBC with an up close with bullish divergence. All right, the next one that I had identified anyway was over here. The bearish cross, test of the BBC, down close with the bearish divergence. Um, again, here and here. And it was even here too, but the cycle was moving up a little bit here. So I wouldn't have considered that. Um, right in here, on the other side, you have your MA1 crosses up above the BBC. Price comes back, tests the BBC. You have bullish divergence. You wait for your up close and get long right in there. And that went right up into the zone. And that was pretty much it on the day, guys. There wasn't wasn't a ton to do in there. You know, there's there's one market that I didn't go over at all this morning um, that had big moves today. And you know, what? why don't I take a couple of minutes right now and go over it? Um, I gotta actually create a chart for it. Oh no, here's one right here. Here's one right here. As a matter of fact, this is the 6E. All right. Now, I haven't looked at the 6E yet this morning, but I know it had some big moves, so I'm sure we had some good setups this morning. And I'm certain that we had some good opportunity. All right. Um, there. Okay, here is today. Now, blow it up just a little bit more so you can see it, and we can start parsing through it. All right, it got a little crazy right in here, but um, if we go over here, Early on, 6.45, yeah, right in here. Okay, right here looks good. Around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. 
Right there we had some bearish divergence, you see. Tested the BBC with a down close. We had it there. And again, there. And over here. Okay. Um, you see down here on the bottom, um, this is where we had the bearish divergence, right down there. Okay. Now this is my first look at the, uh, my first look at the euro this morning. But from what I can see, Oh, that wasn't even today. <laughs> that was yesterday. Hang on. Yeah, that was yesterday. All right. Well, let's start with today then. Sorry. Do-over. <laughs> um, you, you don't get do-overs when you're actually recording it. Uh, okay, we didn't have any divergence in here. We had divergence, but the cycle was headed down against it. This right in here seems to be about the first spot right there, but you needed the down close. Yeah, right there. That one didn't work out. Um, the next one was right over here, and that one would have made up for it. You, now, I use 8 ticks risk on these, so I would have lost 8 ticks on that and easily made it back over here. Um, there were a couple of opportunities right in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Over here, the cycle was headed up, so I wouldn't have taken that. Um, a little bit of bearish divergence right in here. Okay. Uh, nothing in there. On the long side here, once once it had a bullish cross right here at the MA1 up above the BBC, you see this is all the same. This setup is the same exact setup as the other one that we were looking at. It's just a different market. That's all. Same indicator set, same everything. It's just a different market. Um, over here, we had a little bit of bearish divergence right in here. Uh, right there was the bearish divergence. When I say divergence, I mean the green down here is going away from the red and blue. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, right in here. And this is pretty much current. Right in there. Okay. That would have been the opportunity there. And a little bit of an opportunity right here as well. With a bearish divergence down here. Alright. And that was the arrow. So... There was some opportunity on the euro this morning. It looks like there was one losing trade right in here. But most of them looked out. Uh, looked to be pretty good. All right. Now, let's uh, just look back here at this crude. You see we have bullish divergence here on the crude right now, so an up close after testing the BBC would be an opportunity to get long. Um, the crude oil seems to be really going sideways here, though right at the moment. Uh, the NQ was pulling back up to the BBC and this has bearish divergence right there. Okay, same thing over here on the YM. Alright, and that is pretty much it for the morning, guys. Those were the trades we took, the trades we didn't take, and the trades that set up.